So uh, uh, we have. Um, In the uh, first uh, part uh, of the uh, uh, course, we have uh, used uh, um, some uh, uh, mathematics, not very advanced, but uh, um, rather laborious. And uh, it might have been that uh, the main ideas uh, which uh, were uh, behind uh, this uh, uh, computations uh, maybe were uh, somewhat uh, less clear. So uh, today I will uh, review uh, the same kind of ideas, but uh, from the point of view of uh, uh, more uh, um, people-oriented, uh, in the sense that I will uh, describe what was uh, behind the minds of people which uh, were uh, producing uh, uh, this uh, um, piece of uh, human culture and uh, um, also explain uh, what is the importance of their uh, thinking in uh, our understanding of uh, social and uh, human uh, systems. Uh, because of this I needed uh, the, uh, to, to, be, to have uh, more uh, artistic uh, redemption of these uh, materials. So, uh, uh, the drawings in this, in this uh, uh, lecture were made by Yovanka Lola Likar, and uh, as uh, in other lectures, uh, uh, the late, uh, I got uh, the um, uh, help uh, of, uh, in fact, the cooperation of uh, Professor Golo. Uh, in fact, uh, we intend uh, to uh, uh, make uh, more of those. Uh, uh, let's say, comics uh, in uh, order to illustrate the materials of this course. But in the meantime, we just do it, did it for the power laws, which uh, we have uh, um, covered uh, until now. So as, uh, um, um, as I said, uh, I will uh, uh, somewhat punctuate uh, the mere uh, uh, theoretical ideas in terms uh, of uh, uh, the people which uh, have uh, contributed uh, uh, to this and in terms of their motivations. Uh, the first one was uh, Vilifredo Pareto and uh, his name appeared uh, uh, an innumerable uh, number of times uh, in this uh, course. Um, also the name of uh, Paul Levy, uh, but uh, uh, also in the last lectures we uh, described the contribution of uh, Benoit Mandelbrot and uh, uh, today it will uh, and also we have used uh, the formulation of power laws which was uh, uh, given by uh, uh, Georg uh, uh, Zip and uh, also we mentioned Herbert Simon so today uh, we'll uh, and uh, Mm, also, I mentioned uh, my uh, colleague and friend, uh, Pete, uh, uh, my colleagues and friends, uh, Dietrich Stauffer and uh, Eugene uh, Stanley. So, uh, as, you, uh, as I mentioned uh, to you, uh, the uh, story of the power laws uh, started uh, very early uh, with uh, Vilifredo Pareto, uh, which uh, uh, has, uh, had uh, an extremely important contribution, especially to economics, but also to sociology. Uh, he was born uh, in Paris, even though he was an Italian, because at the time uh, there were a lot of uh, revolutionary uh, movements uh, in Italy, and his uh, father had to uh, uh, run away. Uh, um, now, uh, as I said, uh, his, uh, he started uh, not necessarily, at the t uh, in a sense, the economics uh, ex uh, was uh, not very well separated from uh, politics and uh, from sociology at that time. In fact, uh, to this day, there is uh, 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 the name political economy, which was in the initial uh, uh, name of economy uh, uh, at the time of its uh, uh, founders. Uh, he um, uh, taught a lot about the dynamics of uh, society and uh, 
Uh, I have to say that uh, he wasn't very uh, uh, mm, uh, continuous, uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, consequent. Uh, he was born in a revolutionary family, so he was very left-wing, but towards the end of his life he became very right-wing. Though, of course, uh, it's not so surprising uh, it happens uh, in our lives today that uh, uh, the extremes uh, touch. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, what I said now that is similar to what happens uh, in uh, our uh, lives, uh, it strikes me when I was looking for uh, citations, uh, for quotations from his uh, uh, thinking, uh, sometimes uh, I, uh, uh, I couldn't believe that uh, they were written more than 100 years ago and more than 3,000 kilometers away. Uh, in particular, he gave uh, uh, um, a description of uh, history in terms of uh, uh, rotating elites, in the sense that uh, you would have uh, over the, uh, uh, um, as opposed to, let's say, the mechanistic uh, view which uh, 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 somebody like, like Marx would give, uh, uh, he go, gave a, a more psychological view in terms of the upper class becoming uh, detached from the uh, real uh, challenges of life and then losing to another elite which comes after. As it uh, comes out from this uh, uh, text. Uh, in fact, I, uh, I'm wondering, uh, usually when I have a text on uh, the slides, I um, uh, say other words because what is on the slide is already there. Do you prefer that I read the citation, the quotations, or that I leave you, uh, you read the quotations and I say things which are parallel to that? What is your preference? We can read it. Yes. Uh, so, um, um, uh, so in fact, uh, it is very important, uh, and it is very important, especially for uh, this uh, course that uh, Pareto was actually an engineer. In fact, uh, at the beginning, uh, he supported himself uh, with uh, what would be the equivalent of this day of being uh, 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 missiles or uh, rocket engineers or, uh, you know, in NASA, because at the time they just uh, kind of introduced the uh, trains and uh, the um, in Italy especially, there was a very strong uh, push towards introducing trains, uh, uh, which completely changed, uh, of course, uh, the uh, economy of the place. And he was uh, a very talented engineer. And, uh, um, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Um, uh, um, and, and still he was very much interested in uh, this uh, psychological underpinnings of uh, society. He gave uh, some uh, continuation of the classical uh, uh, work of Machiavelli, the prince, and uh, he explained uh, that uh, uh, both uh, qualities of strength uh, but also of uh, 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 foxiness uh, might be uh, necessary, and in fact, uh, at the time, uh, the um, uh, it was uh, the time that uh, uh, out of uh, very uh, scattered and uh, 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 not independent, uh, basically, country Italy became uh, uh, the modern uh, state of uh, Italy, essentially by the. Uh, uh, fight of two uh, people, Garibaldi and Cavour. Garibaldi was very much like, uh, like uh, the, the lion without any fear, and Cavour was the prime minister of one of the little states which became, after that, the entire Italy, and uh, which was uh, very instrumental in making that. Uh, now, uh, as I said, uh, he started essentially as, uh, as an engineer, and at the time uh, engineering and the physics weren't very uh, much uh, separated. So uh, his uh, dissertation was on the equilibrium of solid bodies. Essentially, uh, it is uh, the Newton law which uh, says that uh, if uh, uh, you want a body to be in equilibrium, then uh, the forces which are applied to it have to be uh, to cancel one another, or there is no net force on it. It. The forces are uh, um, 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 put to zero. Uh, and uh, he translated this, uh, I'm sorry, 
he translated he translated uh, this uh, concept uh, of uh, uh, equilibrium in uh, physical systems uh, in terms of uh, what would be a possible way of defining equilibrium in a social system. And uh, one, of, uh, one of the uh, formulations of it, which might not be uh, the ultimate formulation, but it gives the one of the first examples in which you translate this kind of physical uh, thinking, uh, quantitative uh, mathematical physical thinking, into something which has to do, uh, which has to say something about the social system. And essentially, he invented the concept of Pareto optimality or Pareto equilibrium, uh, which is analog to the, to the uh, uh, con concept of uh, uh, forces being zero by saying that you, you might think about a system in equilibrium, a system, uh, an economic or social system, in which every change which uh, you make uh, you cannot improve uh, the position, the situation, the uh, benefit of one person without uh, hurting uh, or diminishing the uh, 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 utility, the, uh, the uh, um, um, uh, position of uh, another person. So, uh, of course, in such a situation, you would have uh, uh, an equilibrium. Uh, and if it is possible to improve every, uh, somebody's position without diminishing anything from the others, then of course you should do that. So this classification between Pareto optimal situation and Pareto not optimal would be a policy uh, 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 tool in order for people to identify pos possibilities of improving without uh, having to meet uh, a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, opposition from the ones which uh, might be uh, hurt by, uh, by the change. And uh, we see this uh, uh, in everyday life, that some changes are difficult to make because there is some uh, group uh, uh, which is opposing it, but some others are just a matter of identifying the opportunity. Um, Uh, 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 so uh, at some stage uh, he uh, got frustrated with the uh, with, uh, entire situation and he uh, retired to academics. Uh, uh, retired is not really the word because he essentially founded the uh, um, uh, very important school uh, of uh, economics which uh, in fact uh, in certain uh, um, aspects um, uh, dominates the economic thinking to this uh, very day. Uh, and uh, um, uh, he, uh, he, he started to express uh, his uh, uh, views uh, of, uh, of, um, uh, of um, displeasure with, with the uh, way uh, things were going in a way that uh, you see uh, seems uh, uh, incredible that they were written uh, a uh, hundred years ago because uh, it uh, essentially includes uh, elements which were uh, the dominant uh, things uh, in uh, the current uh, 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 economic uh, situation of the entire world. Uh, he said the plutocracy has invented countless makeshift programs such as generating enormous public debt that plutocrats know they will never uh, be able to repay and the taxes which exhaust the incomes of those uh, who do not speculate. And uh, the principal goals of each of these measures is to deceive the multitude. Uh, as I um, mentioned, this was uh, uh, written in the 1800s, uh, towards the end of the 1800s. And uh, he ended up uh, with the uh, age of chivalry is gone, the age of sophistry economists and calculators has succeeded. Uh, now, uh, in, uh, from our point of view, uh, the part which we have studied in quite uh, detail, and uh, you know, until now, uh, what I said about Pareto, it's uh, some kind of piece of history, but for our course, uh, this uh, law, this uh, power law, 
uh, which uh, he discovered, uh, it's uh, already uh, uh, very, very uh, deep uh, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, material which we have studied and uh, from what uh, I can uh, evaluate uh, quite a number of you who have uh, uh, understood and internalized. And it's essentially this uh, 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 gathering of data about the income or the uh, wealth of people throughout, throughout uh, uh, different centuries and different countries. And uh, he found this universal law. In fact, uh, uh, following uh, some uh, article uh, which uh, we wrote, uh, some um, uh, uh, researchers from Egypt uh, went and measured the surface of uh, the uh, grain uh, um, uh, silos uh, um, in the houses in ancient Egypt and they found that uh, uh, the amount of uh, grains, which was essentially a measure of the uh, uh, wealth of a family, uh, was uh, indeed uh, uh, a power law already at that time, thousands of years before uh, Pareto uh, uh, found it. Uh, so uh, um, even as universal and as important uh, this uh, uh, law is, uh, Pareto went on and, uh, and uh, made the concept of uh, social law. He said, okay, this is just an example of the fact that there exist very universal laws which uh, we can uh, uh, study and uh, um, uh, try to understand uh, uh, economics and the social systems in a scientific way, in the way in which uh, uh, physicists uh, understand the uh, physical laws. Of course, this program uh, is not completed to this very day, but uh, from time to time there is uh, some breakthrough uh, in uh, uh, making such a connection. And one of it, one of the breakthroughs were uh, uh, described in uh, our lectures in the sense that uh, uh, Pareto was trying to uh, has, uh, was trying to understand the uh, uh, behavior of the economic system in terms of this uh, laws uh, of uh, Newton uh, laws similar to the laws of Newton in which first of all you have equilibrium and secondly you discuss uh, a system as a single object in uh, our case, you have seen that uh, uh, we were interested in uh, the way uh, the system behaves uh, uh, in a dynamical way, what happens with the system, uh, uh, finding the mechanism by which, let's say, one, even if one reaches some equilibrium, what is the actual mechanism by which this equilibrium uh, is uh, achieved. And moreover, rather than treating the system as one single object, we had a multitude of objects which were interacting among themselves and which were leading to the dynamics uh, which uh, would explain the complex behavior of the system. So uh, uh, in, in a sense, this was, even though, as I said, Pareto was thinking more in terms of uh, equilibrium mechanics, uh, this uh, power law uh, uh, started the uh, uh, um, a process, a conceptual process, which uh, continued to these uh, very days in which uh, 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 one uh, goes beyond the mechanicist uh, point of view and uh, has this kind of Im what we call nowadays emergent properties, which are very interesting. Uh, uh, they were uh, uh, previewed in a sense by uh, Hegel and uh, it was also emphasized by the Marxist uh, thinking in terms of uh, emergence, in terms of uh, having uh, the sum of uh, uh, many simple uh, interactions, uh, getting a qualitative different uh, behavior, which looks complicated when one does not understand the uh, microscopic uh, uh, underpinnings of it, but which becomes pretty simple to the level that we could uh, discuss it uh, in our uh, uh, course. So uh, uh, he says, uh, laws which are to be found in Europe, Africa, and Asia that are found among all mankind. This is the kind of ambition which uh, uh, Pareto instilled in the uh, uh, politics, uh, political science, uh, 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 social science, and uh, economics already uh, at the beginning of uh, their uh, uh, development. 
Uh, unfortunately, as I said, and you will see the, the, in the next example too, uh, at some stage uh, uh, his thinking uh, uh, brought him into uh, some kind of uh, um, not only theoretical uh, um, appro approach which would, uh, would uh, um, connotate very much with the fascist uh, uh, movement uh, by Mussolini in Italy, uh, but uh, in fact uh, he even uh, candidated in some of the elections, uh, on the be first on the behalf uh, of the left, as I said, but after that uh, getting uh, uh, closer to the uh, uh, Mussolini um, uh, movement. And after that he retired in uh, the mountains of uh, Switzerland uh, without interfering anymore. Uh, uh, this uh, brings us to another example in which uh, uh, the theoretical thinking, the academic thinking, um, when uh, applied uh, to, to real life, uh, was uh, uh, had uh, quite uh, misfired. Uh, this is the case of uh, 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 George Kinsley uh, Zip. Uh, he was an uh, American, um, which, uh, as uh, you remember, there are two ways of expressing uh, power laws. Or, uh, one is in terms of uh, what are the number of people having a certain wealth, but there is another one, what is the wealth of the nth uh, uh, richest uh, person. Uh, the two things uh, are completely equivalent, but uh, uh, in different conditions you see better the effects and, uh, and understand better the behavior uh, in one of the uh, uh, formulations. Um, Zip applied uh, the um, uh, laws of Pareto not only to uh, uh, their initial objective, which was income and uh, wealth, but uh, also to city populations and uh, to uh, uh, word uh, frequencies and uh, many other uh, systems. Uh, unfortunately, he also, uh, when he applied uh, to uh, uh, cities, populations, what uh, he discovered is there were two countries which were uh, not uh, fulfilling well uh, the power law. And these were uh, Germany and Austria. Uh, the historical explanation of what the power law would not be respected uh, are pretty simple. Uh, at the time that he made uh, the measurements, uh, uh, one had uh, uh, the following situation. Austria was a very small country uh, which was left after essentially the entire Austrian uh, uh, empire has uh, dismembered. So as it is now, uh, Austria is a very small country, but it had uh, basically almost all the Eastern Europe under itself uh, uh, at a certain stage before uh, the end of the First World War. And because of that, uh, um, Vienna was an extremely large uh, city. It was the capital of a vast empire. And now it was left to be the capital of a very small country. Therefore, not uh, wonder that uh, the Pareto law would not apply to, uh, to the relation between the size of, uh, of the city of Vienna and the size of the other cities in Austria, because uh, uh, the right way would have been to compare it with uh, all the other cities in the former uh, uh, Habsburg uh, uh, Empire. The situation of Germany was exactly the opposite. Uh, until uh, uh, the late uh, 1800s, uh, when uh, uh, um, uh, Germany, uh, Germany was unified under uh, the Prussian uh, domination, Germany was uh, uh, scattered uh, uh, in, in very many little uh, uh, sovereign uh, uh, princip uh, principalities, and Berlin was just the capital of one of them. So it was a relatively small uh, uh, city, uh, which uh, by uh, this uh, uh, emergence of the German uh, first uh, empire, um, well, I'm not sure it's the first, it depends how you count them, um, maybe second. Uh, second, I would say. Uh, uh, so Berlin was, uh, was uh, too small in terms of, uh, of the Pareto, uh, Pareto law, in terms of the normal uh, uh, si uh, distribution of sizes of uh, 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 of, uh, of towns. 
in order to have a power law, you would have to compare it only with the Brandenburg uh, state, of which he was essentially, uh, for a very long while, the capital. So the two countries didn't fit. However, uh, putting them together, uh, this would uh, compensate, because one of them had, had a too large capital, the other the too small capital. I mean, it's not too large or too small for, for practical purposes, though of course it might be difficult for a small country like Austria to keep a, a very large uh, capital, but in fact, uh, they do it very well. So uh, uh, the bottom line is that because of this uh, very uh, theoretical uh, um, and not necessarily politically relevant uh, um, uh, considerations, uh, Zip became a, a very uh, great uh, uh, supporter of the unification of Germany with uh, uh, Austria. And because of this, of course, he uh, identified the, he himself uh, with uh, the Anschluss, with uh, the invasion uh, by uh, the Nazis of, um, uh, of Austria. So uh, this put him in a pretty awkward situation, especially from uh, our uh, uh, historical perspective. Um, I uh, don't uh, dwell uh, long, longer on uh, what this means about uh, how careful uh, one has to be when one applies uh, theoretical thinking in uh, 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 practical uh, uh, situations. Uh, so following uh, the, this uh, period, uh, I, uh, as I said, uh, and as you remember from the beginning of the course, there, uh, the, uh, people started to find more and more uh, power laws in more and more domains, and uh, they realized how universal, even though Pareto called the, uh, uh, the, uh, realized that it was universal for the uh, uh, human uh, society, for uh, 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 social sciences, in fact, it turned out that this kind of power laws are very, very uh, um, extended in, in very many domains, and uh, they are much more universal than anybody would have uh, 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 expected. And uh, this brings us uh, to, uh, uh, um, uh, by the way, I'm making a lot of jumps in, uh, let's say, between Pareto and, uh, and Zip, there were quite a number of workers, uh, uh, which, uh, which I'm not mentioning. Uh, and uh, in fact, I'm trying now to think of what is the reason for uh, that I would not mention them. And there is no reason uh, uh, they would deserve in a more complete uh, review. And it will happen uh, even when I speak about the modern era. It, uh, I will ignore some of uh, our, our, my colleagues. And, uh, but uh, since this is not uh, supposed to be a, an, uh, this is just a course, uh, uh, it is understandable. Uh, in any case, in the late 50s and the beginning of the 60s, uh, uh, Mandelbrot, uh, uh, start and uh, a few others started to try to find uh, explanations for this uh, uh, enormously uh, enormous abundance of uh, uh, power laws, and uh, one of the uh, 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 things which ca came to his mind was uh, uh, at the time there was uh, just uh, he, he was, first of all uh, Mandelbrot was working for IBM. Uh, which uh, has to do, of, uh, of course, with information. And at the time, uh, the ideas of Shannon uh, about the uh, quantity of information were uh, very modern. Uh, who of you has uh, he have uh, heard about uh, Shannon entropy or Shannon information? OK, uh, then it's good that I'm mentioning it, because it's a piece of our uh, modern culture, which uh, it's good that you at least uh, know uh, uh, that it exists. Uh, at some uh, stage, uh, uh, people start, uh, especially when uh, the uh, 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 discrete machines, uh, like computers based on uh, bits, 0 and 1, started to appear, this uh, gave the possibility to try to give a measure of the quantity of information that you have in a string of numbers. Of course, you also could ask what is the quantity of information in a, in a text written uh, by a person, let's say, uh, in the place of, uh, 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 of Shakespeare. And, uh, 
um, there are uh, quite a number of ways of approaching uh, this question of how much is info information is uh, in the um, um, uh, works of Shakespeare, uh, 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 there is such a philosophical question which was asked and uh, uh, answered, but I'm not sure that definitively. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is the quantity of information in the uh, book of the collective works of Shakespeare if, uh, God forbid, uh, all the English-speaking uh, persons would uh, disappear? So nobody would uh, understand anything of that. Well, the point is uh, which, uh, which uh, somebody like Shannon would uh, try to make is that if you look uh, in the text uh, itself, even if you know nothing about English, you would find some regularities which would indicate that that bunch of, uh, of signs, it's not a random bunch of signs, that they have some regularities which show that uh, there is some information included in, uh, in that uh, uh, text. Uh, so, um, uh, Mandelbrot, uh, and you remember that, uh, that uh, now, now you understand what, uh, why I would make a connection between uh, this question and the, and the question that we were um, discussing in the course. Because in our course I said, among other things which have a power law, it's the frequency by which some words appear in a text. So, uh, so uh, if you f uh, look at, uh, if, if you know, don't know English, but you, you do uh, d see the patterns which appear in the, in, uh, in the, the collected uh, works of uh, Shakespeare, then you might find that cert certain uh, uh, groups of uh, letters appear very systematically and you make uh, a, a graph how many times each of them appear and then you get the power law. You then you have good reasons to say, ah, uh, somebody intelligent wrote it, and uh, there is a, a, a information there. And then, uh, and then uh, Mandelbrot on this line, he said, "Oh, I think I understand how uh, this power loss can appear. Uh, the uh, uh, Shannon information uh, it's essentially this kind of sum. It's a probability. Uh, J. Suppose that I give numbers to all the words in the." Um, uh, in the in the dictionary, so uh, and I take the probability of appearance of each of the words. Then the probability times the log of the probability sum over all the words in a text would uh, 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 would uh, give uh, the Shannon entropy. And you you should you are not surprised that if I have a random uh, process and some logarithms appearing there, then you are not surprised that we get a power law because this is more or less how we got power laws. So indeed, this, this way of, uh, of uh, conceiving, of saying, oh, I understand how power laws uh, appear, it's because uh, there is, uh, uh, the text is trying to uh, maximize the um, uh, quantity of information which is uh, uh, encapsulated uh, in, uh, in that text. That uh, looks like a good idea. Of course, uh, 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 this is uh, uh, this is pretty problematic, and uh, and this was uh, pointed out uh, uh, by Herbert uh, Simon, um, which um, um, was a genius in his own war, uh, 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 in his own uh, right. Uh, maybe it is less known like, uh, than Mandelbrot, but definitely much more appreciated in the uh, scientific uh, world. Uh, and, or at least uh, in terms of uh, his uh, Nobel Prize winning. Uh, how many of you did you hear about uh, Herbert Simon? Okay. Uh, so again, it's very important. Uh, it's one of these guys that uh, if you say that he had the Nobel Prize, it's, uh, it's not uh, increasing his uh, stature, but the stature of the Nobel Prize. So he, he, he attacked it from a point of view which is, uh, which is uh, quite important in terms of uh, the, uh, the differences between the mathematical culture on one side, the physical culture, and uh, the, uh, 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 the social uh, system science. Because you see, by saying that the, that, uh, uh, the text 
uh, uh, has this kind of power law because there is some kind of optimization of the, uh, of the information which is uh, uh, contained in that text. It's, it's pretty, un, uh, it's not an explanation because uh, of course none of us really think that Shakespeare was sitting there and saying, okay, let me choose uh, what word I'm using because I definitely want to uh, uh, optimize uh, the quantity of Shannon information uh, in the text. Uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, 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 while from mathematical point of view, this explanation is as good as the one which we have given in terms of a, dynam a very clear and dynamical process in which you say, oh, I think I understand. If I have a word which appeared, if the uh, um, uh, name uh, of, uh, of the, uh, um, uh, of the, uh, pers uh, most important person in a, in a book like uh, Dickens, it's uh, Oliver Twist, then uh, this word is going to appear a hell of a lot of time after I know that it appeared the first time, and especially in the title. So, uh, so uh, this looks much more like an explanation than, uh, than uh, saying that there is some uh, mathematical function which, in fact, we know how difficult it was for some of us to uh, transmit and to, 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 to internalize, uh, uh, while uh, this kind of explanation, well, it wasn't much easier to internalize, but, uh, but it makes much more sense as a dynamical explanation. So, uh, so uh, this uh, 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 um, uh, um, rift uh, between, uh, between the, the, the purely mathematical static uh, point of view of explaining a law and this dynamical law which, uh, which was basically invented by uh, uh, Herbert Simon, though he would uh, not deny that uh, when, when I rediscovered this and I wrote to him, oh, I'm sorry I didn't quote you, he said, oh, don't worry, I also didn't uh, realize that there was somebody in the 20 years before that uh, which also discovered it. So these uh, laws uh, are keep being rediscovered every, every uh, 10 or 20 years. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, because they are so uh, natural. Uh, so, uh, and, and this uh, sh uh, rift between the different cultures keep uh, reappearing uh, uh, many times and this is why I'm describing to you uh, the ones of you which are uh, going to uh, follow this kind of more academic and uh, intellectual uh, uh, path uh, will we'll find this kind of rift, rifts and uh, um, you should uh, uh, probably be a little bit more polite to one another than, uh, than uh, Herbert Simon and Mandelbrot were to one another because uh, at some stage uh, the controversy became pretty nasty. Uh, uh, we, uh, let, uh, 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 so, so uh, um, uh, there were, uh, it was nasty, uh, but it was also real. Like, for instance, uh, uh, Herbert Simon essentially put under question whether this kind of uh, Shannon information uh, does apply uh, uh, at least in the domain of uh, semantics. Uh, there are some people uh, which uh, question it in many other fields. So, uh, so the fact that it is something was uh, very famous and uh, also uh, uh, very uh, fashionable because it was, uh, was associated with the race of computers uh, during those years. Uh, uh, it was n is not necessarily true, uh, but sometimes it takes uh, somebody with uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, intellectual uh, um, uh, probity and courage to actually say that. Uh, for instance, I wouldn't have put it uh, on my uh, slide if I wouldn't be able to quote uh, uh, Simon, even though I, am, I was thinking this way. I just. Uh. So, uh, as I said, the, the, the controversy really got, uh, got uh, pretty, uh, uh, pretty nasty, and they were telling one another that uh, your argument is invalid or. I don't know if they used the words like uh, stupid or something, but uh, they were very close to it if they didn't. Um, and, uh, but in any case, uh, uh, Herbert Simon applied after that uh, what he called, uh, he called uh, the power law skewed uh, distribution because, you know, as opposed to the Gaussian distribution, the power laws, we found that they are skewed on one side. And, um, 
he applied it in, uh, in uh, economics, in many other uh, uh, um, directions, like the size of uh, firms, for instance. And uh, in fact, we uh, kind of uh, followed uh, this uh, when we started to discuss the distribution of wealth among the different players in an economic system. And we went one step further, uh, further and we said, OK, now, after we understand in terms of this dynamics, multiplicative uh, dynamics, as we called it, the, the power law among these participants. Now, when the participants are starting to interact with one another and appearing and disappearing, what is the distribution of the entire wealth in the society in time given this distribution? And uh, 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 he didn't do that, but uh, de definitely uh, at his time, uh, may maybe he also didn't have the data, but it definitely uh, um, the, the kind of work which I reported to you, uh, it's very much based on uh, his uh, understanding and his lead in, and in the way he put uh, uh, the problem. So you see that even if uh, 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 nowadays it would be even, even though I gave to you a, a reasonable explanation why the explanation of uh, 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 Herbert Simon w was preferable to the explanation by Mandelbrot. Uh, nowadays, it would be even irrelevant because the, the way we are explaining nowadays uh, the different regularities is based on the thinking of, uh, 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 of um, uh, Herbert Simon. Uh, but you'll see that uh, some of the thinking of Mandelbrot is also entering, but not in this particular problem. So uh, as I said, uh, 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 once you understand that uh, the economic system is made out of elements which are not uh, of the same size, but they have a power law in which uh, uh, there are very, very large differences between uh, uh, the wealth of uh, uh, Gates and, uh, and the wealth of a normal person, and therefore this cannot uh, help of, uh, of showing in the dynamics of the system as we have shown, then uh, we, uh, we understand uh, now uh, very, after a long time, the work of, uh, uh, of uh, 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 Paul Levy, in wi which uh, exactly have studied these systems. And you remember, I hope, this uh, formula which, uh, which uh, said that uh, uh, if you look at the fluctuation, if you look at the fluctuations of the um, uh, 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 market uh, after a long time, then the, the shape of these fluctuations is influenced by the uh, shape of the Pareto law. Because after all, the fluctuations in the market are the result of uh, uh, little shocks, little or larger shocks, which are essentially uh, proportional to the size of the individuals which are producing them by actually bidding in the market. So he gave uh, such a formula, and he also uh, describes what are the uh, fluctuations in uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, terms. That uh, this is the size on the x-axis is the size of the fluctuations uh, of of a given fluctuation, and uh, uh, um, after some time. Of each color, it's uh, let's say how much did the uh, uh, returns uh, of the market. Uh, um, uh, what was the return, positive or negative, in the market after one second, after ten seconds, after uh, uh, one day, and so on? So you, you have all these graphs which uh, have this uh, specific shape, and you have this. Uh, um, um, time series, which also have uh, these uh, spikes of different. Uh, they are they are there is a, a, a small noise, but from time to time there are little spikes, uh, relatively often. Then there are larger spikes, less often, and there are also la very large spikes, which are quite uh, seldom. This kind of structure. Uh, uh, of course, if you look at the first time at it, and this is what uh, this course also tries to do, and uh, I hope I, I will be able to do even without mathematics, is that you can appreciate qualitatively the difference between different uh, b uh, regimes uh, of different uh, systems. So this uh, system we have compared with what you would expect if the uh, participants in the market would have uh, equal size. Uh, then th you wouldn't have any large uh, spikes in it. Uh, um, 
uh, especially if the uh, um, individuals would be independent. Of course, you could have uh, also effectively very large uh, 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 entities, not necessarily by somebody getting very rich, by, but by many people being influenced by one another and having a coherent way of behaving, like 1,000 people making exactly the same uh, bids at the same time would be somewhat equivalent with somebody having 1,000 times more uh, wealth. And of course, both of these uh, uh, mechanisms can uh, uh, bring one from uh, uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, very dull behavior in which the fluctuations are microscopic and, uh, and uh, uniform and between the one which was described by uh, Paul Levy. Um, uh, this brings us to, uh, 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 to uh, this, uh, uh, to some other uh, historically uh, interesting, also from human point of view, but also from the point of view, from the cultural point of view, in the sense of the clash between different cultures and uh, different uh, um, uh, thinking uh, traditions. Uh, in fact, uh, before uh, Paul Levy, there was another uh, um, uh, scientist, uh, which was uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, Levy was, uh, was a mathematician, even though because of this uh, very intuitive uh, way of him of doing mathematics, uh, uh, some of his colleagues uh, would, uh, would doubt that he's a real mathematician. Uh, but uh, many of these colleagues, we don't remember them anymore, while we do remember and admire his work. So not always when somebody is uh, not considered by his uh, contemporaries uh, means that he was uh, wrong. So uh, uh, another uh, 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 scientist, Bachelier, he was a physicist. Uh, well, at the time, physics and mathematics were very close. It was around uh, 900, uh, uh, 19. 1,900, and um, he, uh, he was uh, uh, essentially put on the table uh, this, uh, uh, pr the kind of process that we were uh, describing uh, at the beginning of the course, in which uh, you, uh, you have some uh, quantity and it can increase by, by, by a certain uh, uh, quantum and it can uh, 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 decrease or increase and then you have uh, uh, the different realizations going in different places and of course if you ask about each re realization by itself there is very little you can say well I don't know this one uh, seems to have moved here and this one here uh, but if you take all of them together then the, a very clear pattern a regular pattern and uh, capable of being uh, uh, predicted and, uh, and controlled uh, takes uh, place. Uh, and, uh, uh, and this is the way Bachelier started to think about uh, the stock market in terms of this kind of steps uh, forward and backward and started to ask questions about it. And as you remember, in the case in which the steps are of the same order of magnitude, in terms of t to the minus 1 over alpha, we got uh, uh, t to the minus 1 over 2, which is essentially the uh, square root of uh, n, uh, which appears in so many uh, Gaussian uh, processes. Uh, and uh, his, uh, the impact of his work, of course, uh, went beyond that uh, in uh, earthquake analysis and uh, cryptography and uh, ma many other uh, fields. But uh, it's even much more than, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, he was he was uh, pretty dismayed that uh, uh, Levy didn't know about his work and in fact even interfered with his career by not uh, recommending uh, uh, as, a, as a judge in a committee not uh, realizing the value of his uh, work. But uh, the difference between uh, uh, Levy and uh, and Bachelier is that in the case of Bachelier, uh, one had uh, steps which were of the same size as we started the course. While of course in the case of uh, 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 of Levy, uh, the, the the distribution of the individual steps uh, is a power law. Uh, and you remember, they are somewhat uh, related if we take the logarithm uh, scale, but uh, they have uh, quite uh, different uh, consequences. So, uh, um, 
so, so in this uh, respect, uh, Bachelier uh, really was uh, disadvantaged, and uh, in the end, uh, um, he he wasn't one of the central uh, scientists uh, um, in in of his uh, time. In, in spite of uh, the fact that a posteriori we recognized uh, him as a very uh, important thinker. In fact, to give you the uh, 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 the size of uh, of uh, how you uh, you can evaluate uh, his uh, thinking, uh, the uh, this kind of uh, 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 description of the Brownian motion uh, uh, in terms of uh, little steps forward and backward was uh, uh, we we used to uh, attribute uh, it uh, usually to Einstein paper in 19. Zero five, but Bachelier did uh, exactly this much uh, before. So uh, 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 maybe he did in some other context, and, and Einstein understood uh, uh, the, this uh, mathematics in a, in a wider context. Uh, but uh, but definitely, this uh, gives you the uh, the. Uh, uh, order of magnitude of uh, the uh, thinking of uh, Bachelier. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, you remember we made a little uh, movie in which uh, you, we started, uh, we started uh, probably here. And, uh, and we had different motions. And uh, uh, basically, uh, the, 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 the kind of systems which we have studied uh, uh, show uh, uh, um, very, very much, are very much uh, similar with the Brownian motion, uh, which uh, was observed. Uh, uh, and, and it's important for so many uh, fields in uh, nature. Uh, so in the end, in fact, uh, Paul Levy uh, uh, did uh, recognize that he was wrong about uh, Bachelier, especially after somebody of uh, 3,000 kilometers away, Kolmogorov, uh, has, did uh, cite uh, the work of uh, Bachelier. So Levy uh, realized that uh, the work actually was important. Uh, maybe this is a good opportunity to encourage you to uh, to believe uh, if you if the one of you which would continue an academic career to believe in yourself because if somebody tells you it's not true it doesn't mean uh, necessarily it's not true and usually the things which are really important and novel there will be many people which say which will say that they are not true so sometimes it's a it's a sign that it's really relevant as it was in the case of. Uh, uh, Bachelier. So this uh, brings us um, to uh, much uh, closer to uh, our times. Uh, both uh, of these uh, colleagues um, uh, are uh, still uh, active, uh, and in fact, um, uh, uh, are uh, my uh, colleagues and friends. Uh, but uh, when they wrote, uh, they wrote uh, this uh, book from Newton to Mandelbrot uh, long ago. Uh, and uh, they uh, made uh, this uh, connection between uh, what I said that uh, Pareto uh, didn't, uh, uh, between uh, the laws of uh, Newton, which are uh, not statistical, and, between, uh, and, uh, and not extended. They are speaking about uh, essentially point-like objects which are influencing uh, one another. Of course, you can construct uh, then extended objects, but they are constructed of, uh, of laws which are point like. And uh, uh, um, uh, on the other hand, of course, already at the, at the time of Newton, the, the question of trying to find laws which uh, would uh, predict uh, not only uh, mechanical uh, systems, but uh, also the behavior of people, uh, the problem was on the table. But Newton definitely declared that uh, he is not capable to solve it. So uh, with uh, this uh, development, uh, which I described until now in this uh, lecture and uh, which we described uh, in the course, uh, the situation has changed. And uh, people started to realize uh, that, uh, in fact, uh, much of uh, the complex uh, phenomena which we uh, see in uh, uh, society uh, are, in fact, uh, uh, tractable by the methods uh, which, uh, by qu quantitative uh, uh, 
uh, method. But uh, in this uh, uh, course, I would rather, especially from now on, emphasize less the quantitative part of it, but rather the, the change of mind, uh, the conceptual change of mind, in which rather than describing, let's say, uh, the uh, uh, which is also important, of course, rather than describing the history of how IBM, IBM became a large company and how uh, nowadays it is not uh, uh, the largest anymore and how uh, 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 Microsoft uh, had uh, its uh, similar uh, history and uh, uh, how Facebook uh, uh, emerged very fast and uh, uh, now uh, uh, the, the, the speed of development is uh, go going limited. So this kind of pattern, they can be studied at the individual level and uh, w in fact entire books can be written about uh, one single comp company, especially uh, um, uh, during uh, after the uh, uh, um, triggering of the re of the present recession, uh, many of the companies were, when it went bankrupt, there were entire books which were analyzing their behavior. But there is an alternative to uh, actually this descriptive. Uh, 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 attitude uh, in front of one single case and uh, looking at the entire system and trying to understand how uh, the system uh, survives. And uh, to give you an example, uh, nowadays we have uh, uh, what uh, um, uh, uh, me and uh, some, uh, some of uh, my colleagues start uh, to call the Silicon Valley kind of economy. It's a very different kind of economy. Uh, uh, if somebody would tell you uh, there is a place on this earth in which out of each uh, 100 companies which are uh, uh, established, 99% are failing. You would say, Phew, what a failure this country must be. Well, it is the most successful place on earth in terms of economics. It is the Silicon Valley. So how would you understand it? How would you understand the fact that uh, um, uh, uh, even uh, if you have a uh, uh, a probability of failure of 99%, you have such a wonderful uh, uh, economy going on. Well, some of the things which we have done until now uh, are uh, explicit of it, because this kind of fractal distribution, this kind of situation in which you have large fluctuations and small fluctuations, and, uh, and uh, it is enough that you have one single uh, uh, success that it will uh, give returns enough to sustain uh, all the engineers which were uh, uh, unsuccessful in the other 99. Because uh, uh, Another paradox uh, appears in this kind of uh, dynamics. While for, uh, for a very long while, uh, uh, people were looking for uh, how, how long uh, uh, an engineer will stay in a company. And the companies had the long times uh, of uh, life. And uh, the employment of people was uh, 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 limited. And this uh, was considered as a danger. But the typical uh, uh, contract of an engineer in this kind of Silicon Valley kind of economy is two or three years. Uh, uh, a project is either successful and then it's uh, closed uh, because it succeeded, or it's unsuccessful and then it's closed because it didn't succeed. And the engineers uh, uh, are, uh, are uh, fired. However, none of them is uh, uh, it's, uh, unemployed because in this kind of a very uh, uh, li uh, uh, lively economy, they find uh, the next day another job. So, so this kind of uh, statistical mechanics point of view in which you are not looking at the individual company, whether it failed or not, but you are looking at uh, hundreds and thousands of companies and uh, tens and hundreds of time thousands of uh, 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 people involved, uh, then the uh, dynamics of the system can look different and in fact paradoxical. Uh, whatever looks like failure at the microscopic level uh, with such a great probability, in fact it is uh, a success with equally high probability at the system level. In a sense it's a reverse of some picture which I showed to you at the beginning of the 
uh, course in which you would have uh, a lot of cars trying to get as fast as they can to the, uh, each of them trying to get as fast as they can to, to uh, their destination, but all of them together were in, were in a big jam and in fact uh, it was not functioning. Sometimes the same uh, um, uh, um, discontinuity and in fact the contradiction between what you see at the individual level and what you see at the statistical level is uh, different. And of course this m happens when, when, the, uh, when there is a very big difference between the values of the individual realizations and the average. Like in this room, it will not, uh, uh, with the, uh, the air in this room doesn't have this property. Most of the molecules have, uh, are uh, limited within a very short, uh, small range of uh, energies, which are uh, co uh, corresponding to the temperature in the room. But in this kind of uh, 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 um, uh, um, systems, which, which have this uh, kind of fractal properties, which I described uh, in the last uh, lecture, uh, the situation is different. So here, the, uh, um, uh, the picture of Mandelbrot, which at the beginning of this lecture uh, uh, appeared as uh, not exactly the, the, on the side of the winners and not uh, the side of, the, uh, of, the, of, the, of what uh, turned out to be uh, 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 the, the, co the consensus uh, of, of progress. Uh, in, this par in this context, uh, he returns as a very important uh, contribution in understanding this uh, kind of phenomena in which uh, looking at different scales, uh, it's important in order to understand the uh, characteristic of the system. Uh, and uh, you remember, uh, you remember this uh, picture from the last time, in which looking at the, uh, at the same picture at different scales, uh, you uh, you see that uh, uh, objects which were uh, uh, looking like uh, like uh, which were not even appearing uh, at one scale become uh, the dominant uh, features at uh, the other uh, scales. And uh, uh, you remember that in fact uh, uh, when you look in uh, in a mathematical way to this uh, kind of uh, fractal uh, distributions, then in fact you uh, find out that they are not very different from the kind of power laws which we, ha we have been uh, studied. Uh, in order to understand the distribution of wealth in a society, the fluctuation of wealth of the entire society, and in fact, in uh, 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 connecting them in a causal uh, way. So you see, as you go to a, a larger and larger scales, uh, in, in this particular way in which I present the picture, it looks like it, uh, it changes. But if I would have uh, also the possibility to enlarge the screen, then uh, you, and you would uh, go farther away, then in fact exactly what you have uh, seen uh, uh, at the beginning, you would see at this stage too. Because in addition to this guy, you would see another guy which is, uh, which is uh, appearing after uh, enough time and which is much higher and uh, moreover, uh, because you are farther away, those ones which are now seen as separated, they will be seen like this, that uh, it's, uh, they are mad. So this kind of uh, figure, uh, um, it's, uh, it's uh, what we see in nature so many times, and Mandelbrot uh, pointed out, uh, and by now it was adopted also uh, by people which want uh, to make uh, beautiful uh, pictures and... Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I saw uh, for many years, uh, for some years, it was also very popular in uh, shops, in uh, um, um, art shops, and uh, even uh, in uh, souvenirs uh, shops. Okay. So. Um, um, uh, after uh, uh, Stauffer and uh, Stanley wrote uh, that book, uh, uh, both of them, in fact, uh, um, uh, developed uh, uh, quite, uh, quite a lot of uh, applications to this uh, new way of uh, looking uh, to uh, the old uh, tradition of uh, Newton into the direction of uh, what they have chosen to attribute uh, to Mandelbrot. And uh, at some stage, uh, 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 um, Mantegna and Stanley wrote a book, An Introduction to Econophysics, 
uh, in which uh, uh, essentially they put on the table this uh, capability of uh, these methods to say something about economics. Now, uh, the, the book was uh, written uh, uh, probably by the same time uh, with uh, the book of uh, uh, Moshe Levy, Chaim Levy, and myself uh, uh, around uh, 2000. Uh, and uh, it's pretty much uh, complementary to, to that uh, book in, uh, in uh, trying to uh, uh, explain how this kind of mathematical or physics uh, uh, way of thinking applies to the, uh, um, uh, to the uh, uh, finance uh, and uh, to other economic uh, things. Uh, incidentally, this was, be, uh, of course, uh, much before the present uh, uh, recession. And uh, it is, um, in a sense, uh, the presence of the recession that makes uh, these uh, uh, books uh, uh, and uh, this uh, direction more uh, uh, important because uh, it uh, shows that uh, if you don't include uh, this kind of uh, uh, unexpected and very rare events into the dynamics, then you are unable uh, uh, to uh, um, predict uh, the uh, most uh, important uh, part of the dynamics, which is uh, recessions uh, or uh, these booms uh, of the type of, uh, that I described uh, to, uh, about the Silicon Valley uh, kind of uh, uh, behavior, which of course, uh, maybe I shouldn't call it uh, Silicon Valley time of economy. Uh, uh, there was a book uh, which was uh, called uh, Startup Nation, which attributed uh, similar uh, 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 similar qualities to the to the Israeli uh, uh, economy, but uh, of course, uh, when sometimes, uh, like in our own examples, uh, looking from too close to an object, you don't see this uh, so clearly. You see better when you are uh, on the other side of the world. World. Uh, so. Um, uh, so, as you remember, the, the main result which uh, I uh, concentrated was uh, uh, showing that as opposed to the normal random walk in which the, uh, the way this uh, peak goes down is with the square root, because you remember the, the uh, width, the uh, uh, the width of this distribution grows like the square root of, uh, uh, of the number of steps. And therefore, since the same number of uh, realizations it preserves throughout, throughout the entire dynamics, it means that the central peak has to go down with uh, the same uh, 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 low in time. So uh, in the case of, uh, of a normal uh, force and back, it goes like uh, uh, the, this height goes like the square root, uh, 1 over the square root of uh, uh, time. Uh, it's smaller and smaller, uh, as you see. But, uh, uh, but uh, in the, uh, and uh, you see here that in the case when, uh, when uh, the steps are not equal in size, if they are, uh, if the very large uh, uh, steps are not very probable, which means that the Pareto law has an alpha which is larger than two, as you remember, then essentially, the width is also going down on, on such a scale. If you see uh, a shape like a parabola, it means that it goes more or less like a Gaussian, as you remember uh, with the picture of Gauss there. So this way of curving these lines is so that alpha equals 3 is very, very similar with uh, a Gaussian behavior. And therefore, you do not expect to, uh, to have the, uh, the uh, central peak for large enough time, the central peak, uh, you do not de expect to behave differently from a Gaussian distribution. However, if alpha is smaller, if, uh, if the uh, size of the participant, uh, of large participant, uh, the number of l uh, large participants is, uh, is uh, uh, many, then what you get, like in, in alpha equal two, you see that this, uh, shoulders are getting much wider, which means that the uh, speed by which the central peak has to go down uh, has to go faster because uh, uh, the different realizations are getting farther away from the central peak. You, you follow this, yeah. Uh, 
uh, and uh, uh, here you see already that instead of having such a shape, you have such a shape, which is indicative of the fact that, in fact, you have power loss on these uh, shoulders rather than a, a Gaussian uh, behavior. And because of this, you also have a situation in which the, the peak is going down, but it's going down much faster than it would uh, 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 go down if, uh, if the shoulders were not running so much uh, far away from uh, the middle. You follow this uh, argument? If not, I can make it more explicit. Is it OK? OK. So, uh, so uh, one can transform it in a quantitative prediction in which you measure the behavior of uh, this uh, peak uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the distribution of uh, returns uh, over the years. And uh, in fact, uh, this, uh, I showed uh, this measurement made by Professor Golo, uh, which were done uh, on uh, data which were accum accumulated by the economists uh, French and Fama for the last uh, 88 years, and you see that indeed uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, scaling of the peak, the, the way p the peak depends on, uh, on the time that you live between one measurement and uh, another, does fulfill a power law. And according to our predictions, this power law uh, has to be compared with the uh, uh, power law which uh, we uh, have measured in, uh, uh, in terms uh, of the uh, wealth of the different uh, participants uh, in the economy. Uh, you remember here, uh, typically, the first uh, name is here either uh, Gates or uh, Walton or uh, things like that. And uh, uh, we had uh, these graphs uh, which uh, in addition to, to this relation uh, to the uh, fluctuations, it's important because it shows how much the inequality between uh, the different participants has grown uh, in the last uh, years. And we know that now, now we know from the relation between the fluctuations and the inequality, we know that more inequality means more fluctuations in the market. So it is not only that having inequality is not fair towards uh, the uh, humans, it is also not uh, good uh, uh, for the stability of the economy. Uh, and uh, in, uh, as you remember, we compared these two graphs and we did find uh, that uh, the two uh, slopes are the same, that the behavior of the uh, um, wealth of the people in an economy is uh, 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 determining or, or of the companies uh, is uh, in some other cases it's determining the uh, behavior of the fluctuations of the uh, uh, financial markets in that uh, economy um, so this brings us uh, to uh, the next uh, chapter in uh, uh, our uh, uh, in our course uh, because, as I said, uh, uh, after the book of uh, Stauffer and Stanley, Stanley uh, uh, went uh, to, to study this in terms of uh, uh, these uh, power laws, uh, while uh, uh, Stauffer, um, and uh, in very much, uh, um, I'm uh, proud to have interacted, and in some of the papers we were co-authors, uh, uh, understood uh, uh, following uh, uh, this uh, uh, works that, uh, in fact, his specialty, which was percolation theory, it's also very much relevant uh, to uh, the uh, uh, economic uh, dynamics uh, uh, of uh, these uh, systems. And uh, this uh, is going to be uh, the uh, uh, subject of uh, uh, our, uh, not only our next lecture, but uh, the rest of uh, this lecture. Uh, and uh, before that, uh, uh, there is this uh, quotation by him, which in a sense, uh, it's uh, counterbalancing what I told you about uh, Pareto and uh, uh, Zip. In the case of Pareto and Zip, their uh, indiscriminate uh, application of uh, uh, the mathematical uh, uh, results to, to the reality led them to quite uh, uh, problematic uh, uh, positions in terms of uh, what has to be done uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, the unification of Germany and uh, Austria, or, or in the case of uh, ZIP, or what uh, is uh, uh, 
to be done uh, with uh, the economy and the social uh, structure of Italy in the 20s, uh, in the case of uh, Pareto. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, Stauffer uh, is, uh, has made uh, the point that uh, 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 applying this kind of uh, uh, modeling, in, uh, which are, which are uh, looking more or less like uh, reducing the humans uh, to, uh, to molecules, to point like molecules, rather than uh, um, taking full, uh, uh, fully into account their thoughts and their uh, feelings. Uh, that uh, uh, is a criticism which is uh, in, some, uh, in some conditions and in, for some particular phenomena uh, very justified, but uh, 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 it shouldn't be uh, uh, discarded uh, automatically as, uh, as a possibility to uh, get uh, results in the same way in which, uh, for instance, if you want to uh, 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 calculate the trajectory of planet Earth, uh, then, of course, uh, 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 the first approximation, a quite precise approximation, is uh, to uh, treat uh, the Earth as a point which is uh, attracted by the sun by uh, gravitational uh, law and, uh, and to ignore uh, the size of the Earth. Now, it might look preposterous because uh, our entire world it, around it's being neglected. However, uh, for the particular question at hand, uh, it gives a very good result. So uh, Stauffer's point is that uh, uh, it is not out of question to apply this kind of uh, uh, very, uh, uh, abstra uh, very abstract in the sense of uh, uh, neglecting a, a lot of reality uh, models and uh, still expecting to, be, to get very precise uh, results that, in fact, uh, you have seen we got in terms of this uh, connection between uh, the uh, statics, uh, static uh, wealth distribution in a society and the dynamic uh, uh, of uh, the wealth of the entire society. So let me try to find uh, the, fi uh, the file for the, the... This is a list of uh, references which I'm going to... Uh, which, uh, like uh, the rest of the materials, is going to be on the uh, site of the course. So uh, let me uh, uh, try to find now uh, uh, the the file uh, for the for the for introducing uh, the concept of uh, complex of uh, percolation. Okay. Uh, so first, I. Uh, uh, these are uh, the people which were involved in uh, uh, applying uh, in, uh, in uh, this uh, first papers in which uh, uh, percolation was applied uh, to social and uh, economic uh, systems. And, uh, and uh, let me describe to you uh, uh, one of the first uh, applications uh, to show you how, uh, how you can get some insight in, uh, in very uh, interesting uh, uh, results, even without uh, any mathematics. So um, let me put, uh, put it to the uh, slide on the slideshow, on mouse click, apply to all. OK. Uh, and uh, slideshow. So let's uh, imagine, uh, uh, I think that I uh, made, a, uh, I already gave a, a picture uh, at the beginning of the course in which I was uh, showing uh, aerial view of a sub, uh, um, uh, sub urban area with uh, this kind of uh, uh, straight, uh, relatively narrow streets uh, with uh, individual houses on both sides. And uh, some of the houses which had uh, uh, purchased uh, uh, air conditioning, they were marked by an X. And then uh, 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 the, um, uh, uh, it was obvious that the people which were neighbor to one another, they were influencing one another because these X's were uh, uh, clustered. Uh, 
in a cluster. So if somebody had a, had a, a reconditioning, it was very probable that uh, at least one of its neighbors had a, uh, uh, an air conditioning too. Presumably one of them was copying uh, from the other. So, um, uh, so percolation is uh, basically this. It's uh, this uh, p possibility of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, people or uh, other objects to be uh, contaminated one from the other. They can be contaminated in this sense of uh, uh, purchasing uh, uh, an air conditioning or they can become contaminated in uh, getting into a panic. Like uh, uh, you go at work and the guy uh, next to you says, oh, today I lost 10% uh, of my uh, uh, pension investment because it was in uh, Lehman Brothers and Lehman Brothers uh, are uh, going to collapse or something like that. Even though in reality the situation was that by the time it, it was in danger, it collapsed already. So. <laughs> there was not much to be done. But of course, it, it could have been um, something to be done for, for his colleague if he had uh, money in uh, uh, Chase Manhattan or something like that, which was maybe endangered uh, too. Uh, so uh, so uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, two possibilities uh, uh, which are uh, marked on this uh, graph. Uh, you can, it's a model, it's a mathematical model. I promised there would be no mathematics, so I'm not showing you the formulas. But uh, uh, the reason I was able to make this promise, uh, which uh, um, um, I intend to, uh, the, uh, uh, Nimrod told me, uh, how could you promise such a thing that there would be ma no mathematics? And I said, uh, look, these people are philosophers, so I can always uh, uh, ask what is really mathematics and then, it will not be clear, so. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, the model says the following, that uh, 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 this uh, little uh, uh, um, uh, balls are uh, different people. Uh, and uh, this is uh, one of the streets which were uh, in, uh, uh, shown in the, that uh, picture, which I try to remind you. Uh, who does remi remember uh, that uh, street with uh, air conditioning and uh, with the crosses on the houses? Who you remember? Who does? You do, and you do. And you do? And you don't. Okay. Uh, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter for my explanation. It just matter for me uh, uh, understanding how much of what I say it's uh, uh, remarkable, which apparently is partially only. Uh, so uh, so uh, again, uh, you can imagine that these are uh, different people in their, uh, on their, uh, in their houses in, on the street. And now if uh, one of them is uh, purchasing um, an air conditioning, uh, then uh, uh, the next one is very likely to uh, uh, buy an air conditioning. And then the question is uh, if uh, it is, is to, uh, to uh, um, uh, evaluate whether the uh, uh, propagation of uh, buying air conditioners is going to, uh, to take over the entire street or uh, just being limited to a very small amount of the street. Now, the problem is, is the following. Suppose that there is somebody which is allergic to uh, air conditioning. In fact, uh, we put in our house air conditioning only uh, last year and, uh, and we are still not uh, very much uh, using it. Uh, so, uh, so it's very likely that uh, 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 at least somebody in the way will uh, not uh, buy an air conditioning. In this case, the entire uh, chain will stop here because this guy is not a uh, neighbor of this guy and will not see the air conditioning. Okay? Of course, it's an abstra abstraction. If he might uh, happen to be a friend and to, to still go to his house and see the air conditioning. But we are, uh, meantime, discussing an abstract uh, model in which uh, you uh, uh, buy an air conditioner only if uh, one of your neighbors uh, have uh, bought it. And only if you are uh, predisposed to, to buy air conditioners in any case. Either that uh, suppose you, ha you are allergic to uh, uh, air conditioning or like I'm going to, uh, to assume now, 
I'm now speaking about air conditioning, but it could be cars or something like that. You might uh, uh, see, okay, I like uh, air conditioning very well, but uh, my impression is that the economy is going to go down in the next year, and I better keep my money for the uh, for the uh, rainy days rather than in investing in air conditioning. Well, it fits because if it, there is rainy, then you don't have to use uh, air conditioning. And and uh, and uh, and uh, this is it. Uh, 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 if you just uh, keep uh, to to the street, the answer is that if you have a one-dimensional street, then there is no uh, uh, very uh, likely that uh, the propagation of uh, of uh, by contagion will uh, take place and will be very successful. But. All these people which are uh, living in this uh, neighborhood, uh, they are going to work. Maybe they are going to work in some uh, big uh, uh, building uh, uh, in the main town, not in the suburban uh, neighborhood where they live. And maybe they are sitting one to, uh, next to, the, uh, to another uh, on, on some line uh, of uh, maybe they are watching uh, the screens and uh, making orders uh, to uh, buy and uh, sell uh, um, um, uh, equities, uh, shares. In this case, they are also in the situation that they have somebody in the left and somebody at the right. There will be different people than their neighbors at the, on their street. And they will not uh, 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 speak to one another about air conditioning. They will speak about what is their expectation about the economy. So the same person which, uh, which appears, let's say, here, uh, C, uh, D, E, uh, will, uh, will, uh, uh, the C here will appear, let's say, here, OK? And, uh, and here he is influenced by uh, the other uh, guys in terms of what is his attitude about spending or not spending. Not necessarily about uh, uh, air conditioning, but also influencing his uh, uh, decision about uh, uh, air conditioning. So there is. Uh, so even though the propagation of opinion on this network is uh, is uh, stopped by D, uh, because C is on this side here, then these other guys will get uh, 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 will get contaminated by his uh, opinions. So if you if you uh, go from a situation in which you have a one-dimensional uh, chain of contagion to a situation in which the person is involved in more than one network, then out of a sudden you have a situation in which uh, instead of uh, 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 instead of uh, uh, having a very poor adoption rate because uh, one single non-adopter would stop the entire process, now because you have this kind of uh, cross-interactions uh, 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 between those uh, 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 networks, then uh, the combined networks can lead to uh, uh, in fact uh, propagation of uh, uh, contagion. Ah, and here it is uh, the, the process, you see. They, uh, 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 in the end, the black uh, point, which are the adopters, are taking over the system. And uh, uh, while on the disconnected uh, network, uh, if, uh, even if uh, you have a good start, uh, it will uh, get uh, stopped because there is no way to go uh, uh, around the non-adopters. Uh, so this uh, has been applied uh, to uh, quite a number of uh, phenomena, and uh, we are going to uh, uh, discuss uh, in great detail this kind of uh, process in which you have a mixture of uh, adopters and non-adopters, and, uh, and we are going to ask uh, what are the conditions in which a certain uh, uh, product or a certain ideology or a certain uh, uh, behavior uh, type uh, will take over uh, society or not. This is important both in economics, as I described, because it will tell you whether you expect, uh, 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 which products you expect uh, to uh, uh, propagate and which uh, uh, products you don't expect to propagate. But it's also important in many other fields. For instance, if you have a network of, uh, let's say, people which are inclined 
to, uh, uh, to have a similar ideology, they are influencing one another. And there is another, suppose there is another network of people uh, which are inclined to use uh, force in order to influence their ideology. And suppose that each of the networks is thin enough, like our one-dimensional networks, that each of them would not propagate by itself. With the, you start, somebody would start, some uh, uh, violent person would start to try to organize some violent uh, 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 initiative, but it will uh, stop. But if you have both networks interacting to one another, uh, uh, a violent ideology and a, a, a negative ideology, a militant ideology, and a violent uh, network, and if they are interacting to one another, then you might have out of a sudden an, uh, an outbreak of uh, violence which might take for over a, a very large uh, uh, society and in fact endangering uh, millions of people. While if you uh, intervene from the beginning and you try to separate between the two networks, as I, I showed, each of them would be quite uh, not uh, uh, influential uh, by itself. So this is the kind of uh, uh, processes uh, we are going to discuss. And as I said, the name uh, uh, under which uh, this uh, comes, it's uh, the name of percolation. It was uh, uh, invented uh, very many years ago with a, one of the leaders of it was, uh, is uh, Dietrich Stauffer. But uh, I will present some work which we had uh, together and uh, which um, is very much uh, in this direction of what is called uh, sociophysics. Thank you.